So the DSS has finally been fueled up and unlocked. Well, almost. So I just wanted to quickly cover what is going on for anyone who hasn't loaded up their game to check it out yet, and also explain some of the features from how I could tell it works. So basically the DSS is out. You can access the menu, as you know, from your galactic map. You can see that my keybind for it is B. Don't know what it is on controller, but we finally have some actions to do here that we're gonna be covering. Now, this is basically the Helldiver's Death Star. However, everyone must vote where it is going to get deployed, but also fund the different weapons. If I move my cam, you know, I'll just put it over here for now. You can see that there is a donate button. Now, currently the DSS is still on Galavare, but this planet is currently liberated. What the DSS is gonna do is we're gonna vote on what planet to send it to. And then as long as there is an active campaign there, it's gonna give us some bonus effects. So it's not technically able to be used yet because it's on a planet that's liberated. There's nothing for it to do there. Now, we also know from dispatches that the automatons are gonna be attacking this planet next. So I'm hoping for some crazy DSS showdown once we get there. But with that being said, uh, we do have some stuff to talk about with the major order, but I'm gonna be doing that in the second part of the video because first we're just gonna show off basically what the DSS is and what it does for anybody who hasn't loaded up their game yet. So there are three tabs here, summary, actions, location. First up, you vote where the location of the DSS is. You can see I voted for Mastia and I actually think that that was a mistake. However, you get one vote, and this is where I learned that you get one vote and you can't take it back. So the first tip I would say is check it out. It says the station moves in 21 hours and 16 minutes. Hold your vote. You don't actually need to vote until this timer is up. So make sure you're voting for the correct planet. In this case, the whole player base was going for Mastia. I think that's just because that's where the current defense campaign was, but it's not actually moving there for 24 hours. So I think this is a mistake. However, it's the first time this thing's ever gonna get used. We'll see once it moves. Now, we'll talk about more with the Major Order because the Automatons are attacking Galavare next, and I think we're gonna need to organize as a community a bit better. However, we'll talk about that later. Let's just show what the different actions are. So if we scroll over to the Actions tab, you can see that this is the first resource sync that we finally have us late game players. Uh, we have Planetary Bombardment, which you can donate 50 samples to, and this is daily donations, by the way. Eagle Storm, which is 75 common, and then Orbital Blockade, which is 10,000 requisition. Now it says right here, the DSS tactical actions become activated when they have met their donation goals. So I'll probably post another video once this is active so we can see what it's like in game. Now, Planetary Bombardment says the DSS fires nonstop orbital bombardments from the suite of 77 presidential class cannons, providing planet-wide artillery support and accelerating liberation efforts. Now, just from the picture, it looks like it's just gonna drop random like 380s or 120s or something. But I'm curious to see if we see all of the orbital stratagems available during the mission. And I'm also curious how it's gonna work because it seems like it's gonna be random or we might possibly get a strat an extra stratagem call in for uh, orbitals when we are on those planets. And I'm also curious how the targeting is gonna be because if I'm like, fighting a bot or some of the bugs up close, is it just gonna hit me? So I kinda do hope we get a beacon to throw, but we will see. Now what's also really cool about this, and let me move my camera again, we will get orbital barrages. So again, sounds like the 380 or 120, but it also accelerates progress in liberation campaigns. So this is gonna be a big boost for major orders where we're liberating planets. Next up, we've got Eagle Storm, and it says DSS crews maintain deployment of a 24 hour rotating fleet of Eagle fighters from the massive three-tiered con convocation bay, supporting all Helldiver operations on the planet with close air support and slowing enemy offenses. So this deploys periodic Eagle airstrikes during missions, which is a goaded stratagem by the way, and then it also slows enemy progress in defense campaigns. So currently we have one for uh, helping our liberation rates and then one for helping our defense campaigns. So the way defense campaigns work, you guys already know, the bots have like, or, the, or the, whatever's attacking has 24 hours to do it. So this will probably just extend that time period essentially, maybe to like 36 or 48 hours. And it's even possible that if we move the DSS to a planet under attack, we're effectively 
extending our time. Again, we'll just have to see how that works, but it is pretty cool. And then the last one over here on the left is called Orbital Blockade. This one is uh, with Requisition. And what this does is the DSS activates its zero G anti-ship missile system, targeting all large enemy spacecraft attempting to exit the planet's atmosphere. In addition, diverts excess manpower to Super Destroyer. So basically what this says is defense campaigns cannot originate from the planet that this is hovering. The Hellpod Space Optimization Booster is automatically active for all missions. Now, Hellpod Space Optimization being active is a blessing because we finally get to use a fifth booster the, you know the one we think should just be base game anyway with that being said though i think that's why some people are targeting mastia because we know that the bots are going to attack galavere next and maybe they think that they can cancel this attack now i don't think that orbital blockade will cancel any attacks because that is kind of what eagle storm is for i think all it's gonna do is make it so that if there is no attack yet the planet that this is hovering cannot start from there the main boost for this is that it is really cheap given that it costs requisition rather than samples, and we always have excess of that. I think this is going to be the most activated one at any given moment, and I think that this is kind of the like lowest tier benefit. Getting Halpod space optimization is just a cool bonus we can have, whereas the Eagle Storm and the Planetary Bombardment are like the real powerful ones that are activated during the missions. Now, hopefully in the future, we get some updates to the DSS. I hope we get some cool, like unique stratagems. We've all maybe seen different leaks. I'm really hoping the Shredder missile from Helldivers 1 comes back and maybe it's a special DSS stratagem that we can call down every so often or some of the cool other leaks. I'm not gonna talk about any others. But with that being said, let's talk about the current major order, which is shown on this summary page. So it clearly says, you know, the major order says hold Galavere. However, the player base has voted for the next location to be Mastia. So I do think given that this is like our first ever usage of the DSS, it makes sense that we might blunder, you know, the location a little bit. I don't really think it's that big of a deal. However, just given the dispatches that the automatons are going there, given that the major order is to hold Galavere, I actually do think that players should have voted that. Now, obviously I made my first vote wrong, because I just voted where the blob was going, and I don't really think that that's a huge deal. Now, given that the defense, you know, it was active at the start of this video, it's already over. I don't think it makes any sense to put the DSS onto Mastia, because the defense is over now and it's not actually moving for about 21 more hours. On top of that, it says the estimated time until our uh, actions activate is basically when the DSS is moving. Now, what I'm really hoping for is because the current DSS location is on Galavere, that when the bots do end up attacking this planet within the next few hours here, that we do actually get to see some sort of DSS showdown. Hopefully, Arrowhead, you guys pull some strings, activate our Eagle Storms and our Orbital Bombardments, just because it would be a really cool, you know, live service sort of event to be coming into the game. So with that being said, though, just given that there's like 21 hours left before this thing moves, we kind of have to pre-move the DSS. So this is your quick reminder to start organizing via Discord, follow YouTubers like Erevan, join my Discord. I always keep up with the community and I always keep up with uh, Helldivers Companion to see, you know, the best locations to sort of put this thing or just follow the different YouTubers, Buzz Lightbeer, Glitch, all those kinds of guys always talk about the major orders. One thing I will say is Reddit can often send preemptive posts that just happen to get upvoted because they're fresh and people think it's the right move to make. I would definitely follow the different Discord groups. Even the main Helldivers Discord might have some good ideas in there, although I don't really check in there. I usually just talk with Erevan and check out Helldivers Companion. Now, another thing I wanna talk about is another complaint I often see from players is that they really want the devs to add all the information from Helldivers Companion onto the galactic map. Now, I do think the galactic, the galactic map could have some more information on that, but one thing I see players asking for is for the devs to send out, you know, dispatches saying, hey, go do this gambit because it's gonna win or go do this because it's gonna win. But one thing the devs themselves have stated is they wanna see the community actually organize better, whether it be Discord, Reddit, or whatever players, places players go offline to organize. And quite frankly, I actually agree with this because yes, it can be frustrating to see the players fumble uh, gambits or just go wherever the blob wants to go, whether it's the cool moon planet, because we all love that, even though that's not the strategically best location to go. But also if they just sent out dispatches saying, hey, this is the strategically best 
planet to attack, well, that would kind of get rid of the point of the galactic war and the major order trying to organize and the drama of it. Like if we could just win every gambit and everything there is to do because of a dispatch, then what would happen is Joel would just make us fail on purpose because we can, we can just win every major order if we organized perfectly. So when they made us fail on purpose, that would just be the next thing players complained about. And again, I'm not saying there can't be more info on the galactic map. There definitely could be. But in general, what I'm saying is that's kind of part of the fun of the major orders is trying to figure out where to organize, seeing us not organize too well and fail and learning from those mistakes. And sort of the different drama between the community, blaming the bug divers or blaming the creakers back in the day, even though I was saying to dive the creek and I was right because we got that major order the next day. But all I'm trying to say is number one, now that we have the DSS, we probably should organize a bit better. So definitely check, join some of the discords, my discord down below in the comments, go follow Erevin. He makes a YouTube community post for pretty much every major order. I don't always keep up with that if I'm being honest with you guys. And now that we have the DSS, it is a good time to start organizing a bit better because if we put the DSS on a completely irrelevant planet, then it's kind of, just not gonna really help us with the major order. But at the same time, I would say just chill out guys. It's not always the bug divers fault. In fact, many bop, like many of the previous major orders with this whole DSS thing, there have been over 60, 70% of players on bot planets. Just chill out and remember that everybody's just trying to, you know, some people just wanna have fun and hop in and go to a planet where they see some activity, you know, drink a few beers and have a good night, play a few games and go to bed before work the next day. We're all just playing a game at the end of the day. So don't get super worked up about it because I do see some people getting really upset at bug divers or creakers, like I said. And just remember at the end of the day, we're all just playing hell divers just to have fun. Now, the most important thing I can say though, is look at this timer for when the DSS is moving, hold your vote until you really know where you wanna place it. Given that we now do have a DSS, I'll probably get more on top of putting out YouTube community posts about it. And again, Erevin does that and just join all the different discords. You don't need to rush into these votes like I did today, but I was also just trying to figure out how it worked to be fair. And I made this vote instantly as soon as the DSS came out because you know, I was excited. I jumped the gun as well. So with that being said, that's pretty much it for the DSS right now. It is not active yet because it's on a planet that doesn't have a liberation campaign going on or a defense. With that being said though, I'll be diving in as soon as the attack on Galavare starts to see if the DSS is active there. There is a good chance that we actually have to wait this 22 hours because it does say there is an estimated time of 22 hours before the planetary bombardment Eagle Storm orbital blockade goes out and 21 hours until the station itself moves. So either way, I'll be sure to get some footage for you guys once the DSS is active. I think it looks pretty cool right now for what it's worth. It is a bit basic, um, however, I am just hoping that they update this with like exclusive DSS stratagems in the future. We'll have to wait until the next patch to see if that's happening. I do think that this is just like the preliminary DSS and they're definitely gonna be updating this in the future. As of right now, it is pretty basic, but it does give some cool benefits if you end up diving on the DSS planet. So with that being said, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time, I'm out.